And Nigel Nelson from Kent in the UK. He's a political editor with the Sunday Mirror. Uh, Nigel, Labour's deputy leader said Sunak had been crowned prime minister without him saying a single word about how he will run the country. So what I want to know is what do you know about him and what are your expectations for him as prime minister? Well, the one thing that he will do is, uh, um, as a, an experienced finance minister, he should bring a bit more stability to the markets, which is effectively what brought down his predecessor. I mean, as you said, that um, Rishi Sunak breaks a whole load of British records as the youngest prime minister for 200 years, the first British Asian to take the role. But of course, he comes in at a time of, of huge turbulence, that um, he's our fifth prime Prime Minister in six years and are second in two months. Now, um, what, ne what he needs to do is try and A, unite the party, which is going to be difficult with all the, the various factions. And also, he has to actually unite Conservative Party members. They're absolutely furious that because this is a coronation, they didn't get any say in the new leader. And last night, I was with a, a, an MP and watching his uh, WhatsApp messages coming in, and they're resigning in their droves at the moment. So there's a lot of trouble ahead, both uh, within the party, within the economy, and within the country. Right. He says uh, he's going to not only unite the party, but bring the UK together, that that is his top priority. Uh, of course, that's much easier said than done. But how much of a challenge is that going to be for him on top of tackling the dire economic situation there? Well, in fact, they're all linked. But uh, but the uh, the real problem, I think, is that the the polls at the moment are almost unanimous as showing that the the British people really do want change. Now, the only way they can get change is through a general election. Well, quite clearly, uh, Rishi Sunak now being an on uh, being head of the governing party, the last thing he wants to do is go into a general election, which he would be almost certain to lose. I mean, if the the polls are correct, uh, Conservative MPs would go down from 365 in 2019 down to a kind of rump of 48, and the Scottish nationalists would then become the official opposition. So as uh, under our constitution, only the prime minister can call a general election, or he's brought down by a vote of no confidence, there, is, there, there seems to be no way the British people will get what actually they really do crave at the moment. Right. He has, as you said, our Already ruled out an early general election, but given what you've just said, I mean, isn't that just going to breed more resentment among amongst the public? Yes, you're absolutely right there. It, it, that it certainly will. Um, and so that the key test that comes up for uh, Rishi Sunak at the moment is a big financial statement, which is due um, uh, uh, in seven days' time. Now, what that's got to do is actually promise, a, if you'd like, a better tomorrow. Going to be very difficult. That the, the current finance minister, Jeremy Hunt, he's overturned everything that Liz Truss was trying to do, which was uh, a whole raft of tax cuts, no way at the moment with the economy and the state it is that we'll be able to cut taxes. And in fact, taxes will even have to go up. Rishi Sunak says his, his primary task is to control inflation, now running at over 10%. Uh, that means that there's no giveaways. So he might well calm the markets, but I'm not sure he's going to calm the public in quite the same way when they see that there are, there are public service companies cuts coming down the road, um, and there's nothing to line their pockets with. All right. We'll leave it there. Nigel Nelson joining us from Kent. Thank you.